So we're trying to look at uh, the quality of drinking water in New Zealand uh, and obviously drinking water quality is something that's really important for people. Uh, we've had some recent outbreaks such as Havelock North where a lot of pe several thousand people got sick from um, microbes in the water and we're looking at uh, microbes across New Zealand in, in, from where people are taking drinking water. There have been some sites that um, have had high levels and those are now not going to be used for drinking water. Um, there are other sites uh, such as many of the surface areas where um, we actually find high levels of uh, Campylobacter, E. coli, Cryptosporidium and Giardia, so all waterborne, potential waterborne pathog pathogens. I mean, one of the things that's come out of our work is that actually um, some of the treatments don't have to be as high, which doesn't put so much cost on the uh, provider, but it does need to happen. And, and our work is only every quarter, so we can't, um, we can't say for sure if there won't be significant events that happen between those, like on a big outbreak like Have a Look North. And that's why other places like the district councils need to continue to measure water quality. So you can always make drinking water safe if you do treat. Uh, so if you treat it with chlorine, if you filter it, so some of our pathogens, Cryptosporidium and Giardia, actually aren't killed, but the cysts aren't killed by um, chlorine, but you can filter them out. So the problem is that, that increases the cost to, to the companies and therefore the cost to the, um, the consumer. So, so you can always make water safe for drinking, but the question is where do you want it safe and do you want it to be safe for swimming and all the other things that are important for um, us as, as people and also um, wildlife, for example.